incoming transmission. Good morning, cadets, and welcome back to our Days Gone playthrough. I already went ahead and uh, fast travel to the checkpoint, so we're really close to the mission. And there they are. Colonel C St. John one, reporting, and I'm at that position. Four. Were my field reports accurate? Yes, sir, they were. Do you need reinforcements? No, nah. sir. Like you said, I've got the element of surprise. Uh, well, if I want to use it. Carry on, Corporal. Gear it out. Armor. Oh, great. They've got body armor. Okay. Let's start this. a nice explosion I'm surprised the fuel tanks are not exploding I was expecting for the fuel tanks to go boom uh, gunpowder really nice Oh, how many more we have? Two more. Right over there. Okay, you can't hit me from there. Not anymore. What else? Ah. Oh. We have the people on top. But I need to loot. Got it. So it might be useful. Yes, it will. More Molotovs. Please, thank you. I maxed out. Right, how do I get on top not through here apparently that's the restroom I don't know what <laughs> I thought maybe we can get up through there you know if I can't get up um, I don't know I don't find the way let's see if I can There we go. Okay. Oh, there's one more? Excuse me? Where? Oh, over there. Alright. But that was the only one. <laughs> now I <gotcha. laughs> Nice shot! That was the last of oh my god. Nice shot! I have to applaud him for that. Damn. Not bad. Again, I'm not gonna bother Colonel, trying to get up. Corporal St. John reporting. St. John, yes. The Marauder Cap. It's been dealt with? Yep. Sir, yes, sir. As ordered. Excellent work, Corporal. Carry on. Will do. Anything else you have for me? Like five more jobs you need to give me. Right, let's first travel back, do a quick refill, and let's meet up with Sarah. Hey, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Yes, the meme. Anybody else want to talk on the radio? Yes, no, yes. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Hey, Deke. Uh, Corporal. Let's do this quick. Hey, Sergeant. Deke. Uh, Corporal. See you, man. 
See you, Caleb. Corporal Deacon St. John. Sarge, good to see you. And a team? Yeah, okay. Nope. Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, yeah? Corporal St. John. I'm doing with bounties. Sergeant. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we can races. have them all. Corporal St. John, you take care now. Okay. What do we need to do? Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where I could check out. If you can't get what I need there, you... <laughs> How do you think I would learn? <laughs> I think I know where you could get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my god, you know a way over, don't you? Of course I do. Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an yeah, order. Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Well, I guess that's one way to say thank you. Let me know when you're ready to go. <laughs> Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what's going on. I'd like to see how it's done. Still nothing on the ring. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and pipes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear Somebody's problems? Somebody's there. Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <laughs> Damn. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. 
That sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Well, he was doing his job. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. I pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I That's appreciate true. it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that, that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. That's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? Maybe both. But yeah, so far the bike is moving on its own. We must be getting it's close, right? Cutscene. Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen tunnel. So anything happening? Any twists, surprise hordes, or something like that? Let me guess. It's blocked. I need your help to move that out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You gonna help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Hopefully, <clears throat> we finished with the reports. That was it? Wait, hold up. Just have one thing over there. I thought it looked like a collectible that I missed. Okay, now we have control. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Okay, so far it's just been a smooth ride. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. You still have your access card or something? We can get in. Thought I'd see this place again. Ooh. 
Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone map. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. Okay. That was the easy part. Oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Or to keep something in. There it is. I'm not gonna hold. made them so hyper aggressive makes them a pain in my ass I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet mm-hmm okay come on right. don't think that's going to happen being quiet that is what the hell happened here Sarah, these uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go. Come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, DK. I don't know, I wasn't here. Was Wait, was that the security guard? That we saw way back. In one of the flashbacks. Not liking this. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. No power. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. Actually, what do I say? No power. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it? Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. <laughs> now it's been what two years? It's 
there's somebody else just dropping in from time to time to check up on things and make sure Harry is working outside. Oh. God damn it. I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. What? You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Unless they're overridden. All of this could be done remotely, you know? Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Okay. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. <laughs> Plenty of time. <laughs> so this one is working. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim. Jim, the rent -a cop Jim. <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up. That, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Or you were saying yeah. this world is stopping anything. Trust no one, expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point up. Yep. Stay up here and give me the fire. Do whatever you can to destroy it. I'll signal you when it's clear. It was intentional. Hey, you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. Okay. There's another speaker over there. It's clear. Anything else? That's not clear, Dick. can properly move now. Perfect. Let me get a speaker up there. It's clear. Oh, for crying out loud. To take cover. It's clear. It's coming. Uh, so up there, what do we have down here? Anything interesting? Doors that I can't open.
Okay. Do your stuff. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override, ID 2007659, override. Alert. Security Nine protocol five, Alpha 761 has call. been overridden. Stand oh, nice. Lock up already. Gone. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Yep. Hey. This time, Alert. we go Alert. in together. Okay, so we're doing this loudly. Snipers up there on the roof. I see him. He's done for. Anyone else? Come on. There we go. Do your magic, Sarah. Alert. One more Alert. time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Yeah. Tim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like I said. A lot's changed. Oh, not that much, though. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, on it. Yeah, plus crafting materials and oh, collectibles. Really? It's clear in here. Warning. here. Deadly force is off. Okay. Same here. Clear that way. Not the max on that. Alert. Alert. What else? Okay, it's clear. Oh. They're waiting for us at the atrium. And I believe that's all the collectibles in the iron boot. Perfect. We finished with that this area as well. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Great. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh, yeah, you got one? Alert. Uh, well, Alert. maybe. Uh, Try the like, side. Is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. I see it. Okay, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC. Alert. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Oh, shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Blow it up. <laughs> that's always an option. Or is there another way? Oh, okay. Put your I hand get... on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID five four two nine zero zero nine. You got that? Uh, five four two nine zero zero nine. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Smart. Very smart. I like it. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Pretty sure I don't have to Here, remember that I'm one. Help me the out. game will do it. Okay, hold on. You need what? Oh, over here. 
Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Yep. Hey, don't take any chances. You kidding me? Not that many. Deacon Lee St. John. ID 54290. Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research. She's up there! Disable voice response. Come on! Get her! Damn it, she didn't listen to me! Hello, boys. What's going on here? Why there are so many guards protecting what and why? Ah, oops. Whoops, <laughs> that happened. So she can uh, die. Deacon Lee St. John, ID 5429009. Good morning. Tell Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to Cloverdale Research Arts Facility. This is your first level. Whatever, whatever. I don't care. Come on, get her! Damn it, she didn't listen. How bonger it is then? The last of them. Alert! Alert! This is a level 4 alarm. Hmm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security <sighs> personnel Wait to the maintenance here. building. I'll bring him to you. Okay, now we can properly load. Okay, she's down here. Anything else? Only needed one. Hey, Jim, my boy. What's going on? What you want? Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know the ones you shot in the head. I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here. You didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I still think they're trying to keep something inside. I hope 
You know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. comment on that one. <laughs> it's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I should have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? Sorry. David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're Dive tech and all that shit, and that there are billions of dollars at stake, and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and. He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman. Exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together in myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Wow. Hmm. Hey, uh, hold on for a second. What's up? Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouses, why? Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Right. There's the crows. Power building. Yeah, that's uh, it's gotta be it. See a lot of red. This is not good. Crows. Okay, one. I think there's a nest over there. You know what? 
does it. Burn you little bastards. That's one. Where's the second one? are annoying you little okay where's the second one seriously game This is annoying already. Right. What could be the second one? Freaking crows, man. Can I get up somehow? So I can see. These guys are keep coming. This will do it. Oi, really? Stop it already. That should be the second one. That yes. I'm not loud. That was pretty well hidden, I would say. Now I just gotta jimmy that door. I still see red on the map. I still That's see red. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. Booze, man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. It's complicated. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Dick? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? 
Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power, it's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, nice. <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go. Ricky. But you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him right on the way. Tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Great. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. Yeah, that was some BS on my part. Did uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. We should be fine, right? <laughs> right? It's clear. Are you going to come out and eat something? Stop looking, Dick. I never thought I'd get warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to get something or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, never mind. This is all awkward. <laughs> Just keys already, come on.
just like old times. Let's see what kind of trouble we're in. That was risky, and of course, it got seen. We couldn't take the risk, but apparently, we did. Remote bombs. Hey there. What's up with you? <sighs> right, what do we have opened up? Oh, radio boozer. Is this somewhere on the map or... No. Oh, actually it's here. It is there. Anywho, we're full tank. Actually, no need to do get on the Saint bike. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell, huh? What Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? <laughs> Did you? Hey, you want it? I got it. Did you just do something to Sarah? Okay, now that's more like it. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Hey, Corporal Don't you like it? I'll catch you later. But <sighs> yeah, we'll find out in the next episode. For now, I'm gonna leave it here, and hopefully enjoy this part, guys. And as always. Don't forget to take care.